Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 7 of my full Platinum walkthrough for Bloodborne. Right, we're going to my least favourite area of the game, Nightmare Frontier. It's not very fun. <laughs> um, but before that we do need to make our way through the lecture building, which is just the first floor. We do go back to the lecture building a couple of times. Uh, you, it's just a building you kind of go through. Um, it's a weird one, but this whole section we're doing now is actually a side area. If you're just doing the story, you wouldn't necessarily come to this place. So what we're going to do is start off by going to the cathedral, where we fought off um, Vicar Amelia. And then we're going to wait, make our way to the lecture building, which eventually leads to the Nightmare Frontier. Uh, so what we need to have had, what we need is the tonsil stone. We got it in the previous episode. So the only way to get to the Nightmare Frontier is with the tonsil stone. Uh, if for any reason you do not have it, check the previous video uh, and you'll see where I got it. Spoke to uh, somebody in a building with a red lantern in the Forbidden Woods um, and that you can go and get it if you don't have it. We should have it already so you're good to go. Uh, yeah, we've got to make our way through a little bit of a section here with two uh, NPC fighters. At this point, they should be very easy to take care of, but early on these could be uh, a bit trickier. Uh, but yeah, that's why we've left them till now. You should be able to run through them pretty quickly. There's a beast. I haven't marked it down because I don't get it. You're going to want to concentrate on these guys. Uh, a scurrying beast there. It's just going to be normal uh, shards, so don't worry too much about them. This first one has the Tonitrus. So it's going to try and get up nice and close and um, hit you with heavy damage. So you can uh, take your time with this one and just charge R2, of course, and uh, take care of them pretty quickly. You're going to get four bolt paper from this one, so that's uh, that's going to come in handy. This second one can be pretty annoying because they do have the, I think it's the rifle spear they have or something like that. Um, with this one, you want to get up close as quickly as possible and just wail on them and try and get them into a corner like this here and just keep going. You, the camera is all over the place in a moment because uh, they're dodging around. I'm just swinging around wildly. If you try and take them on from a distance... Look, look at the state of this. <laughs> there we go. If you try and take them on from a distance, they're just going to keep shooting at you and you're not going to be able to get close. So you need to quickly close down that gap Try and get them in a corner. You can use this building to the right of me here, uh, around the back of that building. You can get them stuck behind the wall there. Um, yeah, don't bother trying to take them on from a distance. You need to get nice and close to that one as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah, and I'm just coming back this way to get these uh, frenzied cold bloods here on the rooftop. So, yeah, we've come full circle. And now we're going to continue on. Uh go down here there is a scurrying beast it's not going to be very good at this point not anything you'll need um what do we get bloodstone shards yeah yeah don't need them <laughs> you may do if you do need them they're there we're going to get see a lot of scurrying beasts and some new larger ones as well which drop some good stuff so uh yeah in the nightmare frontier yep there's another one of these guys i'm sure you're probably sick of these guys by now so yeah, the usual tactic, charge R2 once, and you should, if you're the same sort of level stats as me, you should be able to kill them in two hits now, which is uh, much easier, because you're not going to get that transformation at all. And then we're going to drop down, grab these twin shards here. Uh, the main reason we drop down is these two guys here. They both have uh, guns, rifles, uh, and if you just go down the normal way, where that scurrying beast was, then these guys were just going to be shooting at you the whole time, and it's just not fun because there's two executioners down here. I was hoping he wouldn't hit me, but he did, <laughs> which is quite annoying. So that forced me to drop down on top of him, and uh, there we go. So yeah, they're obviously going to drop um, health vials, blood vials, or they can uh, sometimes drop gemstones as well. Try not to make a mess of it like this. These guys should be really easy uh, now. I think it's because I did that second roll. If I hadn't have done that second roll, I'd have more than enough time. Yeah, it's because I'm kind of addicted to doing what he just did, which is the charge R2. I mean, it kills him in one go if you get it off, so it's just a timing thing. Yeah, see, that one's dropped the, the gemstone there. So there was also two scurrying beasts behind this guy. Don't worry if you miss them. Um, they're not. It's nothing good, so it's just the normal shards. So, uh, yeah, don't worry about too much about missing them. And, yeah, go to the left here, grab this lead elixir, 
which is basically turns you into a tank. It means when an enemy hits you, you don't get sort of pushed back, uh, and you can just keep wailing on someone. Uh, not something I use particularly often, if at all, really. Uh, so what we're doing is grab going towards this door. You don't need to interact with the door. You just need to stand here, and an amygdala is going to grab you. Uh, yeah, so make sure you're nice and healed up for that as well. Uh, after a cutscene, you'll get taken to the Nightmare Lecture building, which is where we are here. So you'll get the trophy for that. Just the trophy is just for getting there. And then once you get through there, go through the door, and we'll just do this. This is a really short area, the lecture building. There are two floors. We do come back for the other floor later on. You can't go to it now. Uh, yeah, here's Patches. If you've played Dark Souls, Demon Souls, you know who Patches is. He does his exact same trick, as always, in this game. So that is going to be later on. You can't uh, do anything else with him at this point. So look for that door on the right and then go through the one on the left, so the one on the right is nice and lit up. And then go through here. And uh, I'm actually going to switch and use the um, the Holy Blade for this. Because it has fire damage assigned to it, because of the gemstone I'm using, it's really good against these weird enemies in this area. So watch out for that first one, he'll try and drop on top of you as you go through the door. Grab this lecture key here. Uh, grab this uniform if you really want to dress up like a student, that's up to you. Uh, yeah, there's some really important stuff in this building, actually. Uh, just a couple of madman's knowledge in this building, uh, in this room here. So watch out for another one dropping down on you as well. Just run past them to kind of set them off. And they're going to drop down. And it should just be a one-hit kill with these guys if you've got the same sort of setup as me. Got the uh, the fire gem on it. So yeah, it's uh, comes in handy, the Holy Blade, against some weapon. Uh, so wait, it's People use it all the time. I'm just being stubborn and sticking with the axe. Uh, yeah, go through here and grab these red jelly. These are extremely important, so grab these. Uh, means nothing at this point, but it is. Uh, we need four of them. We got two then. We need to sacrifice um, four of them to get into the ones of the chalice dungeon, the final chalice dungeon. We need to go all the way into the other chalice dungeons to get another two red jelly yeah <laughs> uh, so yeah grab go through this key use this key should I say to go through this door and there's gonna be loads of these guys and this is why I'm using this blade because it's one shot on all these guys uh, it, it's gonna be a couple of hits with the, the hunter's axe for, for these guys so it's just easier to use this at this point it is quicker as well but obviously the the reach isn't quite as far kill them all yeah so watch out the, the ones that sort of chase you down uh, with hats on they um, just try and hit you normally the other ones uh, without the hats on they are throwing the sort of liquid around you can see this other one in a moment doing it this one here has just stood up that stuff so watch out it's not poison it just hurts so yeah you saw me find some sedatives that was a rare drop from those guys um, they, that comes in extremely helpful against Frenzy, which we are going to come up against in this video, but don't use your sedatives yet. You want to save them for, for later on. You can if you really want to, but I would definitely save them. And then go in here and grab the Augur of Abritus, which is a hunter tool that we need for the trophy. It's one of the ones we need, so make sure you grab that. It's a heart, high arcane kind of tool that uh, shoots tentacles from your arm. So... <laughs> Yeah, it's a niche use kind of thing. Um, I'm not going to be using it, but we need it for a trophy, so make sure to grab it. And that's it. That's the lecture hall done, or the first floor anyway, or ground floor. Uh, and now it's on to the Nightmare Frontier. But before we continue on, I hate this place. <laughs> before we continue on, I'm just going to go back to uh, Hunter's Dream, and I'm going to change a rune around, uh, just use what we've got as well. We should have quite a few blood echoes from doing what we just did. So I'm going to go up here and uh, change a rune. The rune I'm going to put on is the Frenzy rune, which I think is that one there, Deep Sea. So I'm just gonna, I want Frenzy protection. You can see the bar in the middle there is gone from the kind of normal Frenzy meter, which is where that red is. It always does this. It's weird. Uh, it's gone now. <laughs> uh, it basically doubles my Frenzy bar. Um, Frenzy is a horrible status effect. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do some normal uh, 
upgrades here. I think I put it into strength. So strength, vitality, endurance, whatever you want to do. Oh, vitality. Oh yeah, because I'm going to get poisoned a lot. So this is a, a high poison area, but there's also frenzy um, enemies. So if you really want, you can put the poison uh, rune on as well, just for a bit more protection. But frenzy, what it does is it kind of builds up, and even if you kill the enemy that is doing the frenzy effect to you, which is going to be the winter lanterns, you're going to see them later on, uh, even once you've killed them, it still builds up. There's no way of stopping it unless you use sedatives, which are fairly rare or expensive. Or if you lengthen your frenzy bar, which is what I just did, it won't fill up. Um, you should be fine if you're quick enough killing the lanterns. Uh, once frenzy bar uh, fills up, you lose a massive amount of health. Massive. I'm talking three quarters. So uh, watch out. I'm not sure the exact amount, but... Um, yeah, watch out. So that's why I've done that, because if you're going to die in this area... Well, there's quite a few reasons why you die in this area, but that can be one of the main ones, and it is quite annoying because they are later on. So yeah, I'm going to kill that werewolf for the charge R2. Of course, I'm going to drop down, grab this lead elixir. Uh, what do we get? Fire bloodstone. I think that might be better than the one I'm actually using right now. That is a shortcut, so I'm going to open that up later on. Just going to show you there so you remember where it is. Uh, yeah, so there is a large um, scurrying beast, so just ignore that for a moment and kill the, um, the werewolf straight away. <laughs> That's annoying. <laughs> I don't get the prize for it, uh, but it was probably, you know, it will have been twin uh, shards. I don't need them, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, so get up on these guys quickly. You can see I've actually staggered him, but he's, he is actually dead, so I can ignore him. Uh, another beast there. Don't, doesn't matter if you don't miss if you miss it, so don't worry. Just kill the enemies. The most important thing is get rid of those werewolf things. Uh, just showing you a shortcut here. So take mental note of this sort of collapsed uh, plinth, tombstone, whatever that thing. I will be uh, standing on the edge of that, and it will fall down and open up a shortcut later on. Right. Two more hunters. Uh, you can see one's just running towards me now. There is another one. He is coming. You just can't see him yet. Uh, one of them has the same sort of setup as I have here. It's Hunter Axe. Blunderbuss type effect. I think he's actually using the pistol. Uh, but you know what I mean. Hunter Axe. Um, the, go back on the bridge. That's what I was, I'm doing here. Um, they, they kind of struggle. Sometimes they'll come across. Sometimes they get a bit confused. Um... And back away, which you saw him do at the, at the start there. Here's the second guy. So it's a case of timing on these ones. They are very easy to take down. You can see you got him already. Two charge R2s and a normal attack. Um, yeah, you can see he's kind of backing away. Sometimes they'll back away. Sometimes they, uh, they won't. They'll come across. But uh, get across the bridge. It gives you that sort of divide. Um, and it gives you the time to get away. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to kind of get him to come towards me. He's having none of it. Um, just, I was going to hit him with a charge. He's using the the, uh, the whip, the cane, so he's easy to take down, really. In the end, I just get bored and just go straight into him. So you should be fine just wailing on those guys with the, the axe. You should be fine. As a stone I forgot to get earlier when the werewolf died. Uh, they will both drop lead elixir as well, one each. So yeah, make sure you grab that if you want to use it. And then I'm going to run up here, kill this uh, screen beast first for nothing in particular. There are loads of these little screen beasts, so keep an eye on them. It's the larger ones more than anything. Uh, there is one in particular we want to get later on, which is going to drop chunks, two of them. Uh, so yeah, we definitely want to get that one. This is Fading Lake, which is plus five rune. It's plus five fire damage. Yes, fire damage, that one. <laughs> plus five fire damage. So yeah, if you, yeah, it's not one I would use. Maybe against Lawrence in the DLC, but I'm sure we'll find a better one by then anyway. So that was the Poison Lake. We're gonna go there eventually. God, it's horrible this place. We're gonna go there eventually, but I'm gonna go this way first. Open that shortcut up I mentioned earlier on. Uh, there's kind of two ways to get through this area. Uh, straight across the lake, uh, or kind of this way first. This is, Sort of supposed to be the safer way, but kind of not. Uh, but anyway, get out, kill that werewolf, and then run. There are giants. There's one to the left, there's one to the right, and there's one ahead of me there. 
that throw rocks and if the rocks hit you straight in the face it is going to kill you so what you want to do is kind of use um, a height thing so you want to go for the highest uh, this one here is going to throw it you can see he just can't quite make it so you should be fine up here uh, and then we're going to kill this one up at the top here first yeah he just sort of hits the edge and then work our way back down so that werewolf may or may not follow you more than likely if you're quick enough he won't so you'll be fine but take care of that giant quickly uh, watch out for this guy he's still going to be chucking them uh, kill the yeah shouldn't have charged then should have just gone for it yeah that's uh, that's close because he's throwing the um, the rocks there as well so use this gravestone to uh, pan, kind of put a buffer between you um, if if you don't want to you don't actually have to come back down you can just run for it uh, but I'm going to show you what is here I think it's just bolt the two bolt paper up here actually yes so you can if you want to just get through this uh, ignore the bolt paper if you're not that interested um, yeah but if that guy hits you in the face with the rock it's going to one shot you so you can uh, knock him down there you have to go and kill this one now the bolt paper is actually just up where I was but we don't want to get hit because it does it does get <laughs> kill you pretty quickly so you want to get rid of those guys quickly as well but for the sake of showing you what's here this is what it is that's it so that's uh, the kind of the easiest way I would say of getting through this bit it's not particularly fun at all we're not even at the worst part yet of this area. That co that's coming up. So that's this bit done anyway. We don't ever need to come back here. So I'm going to drop down, run round, and open this shortcut up. So we don't ever actually have to come back this way. So yeah, if you're not bothered about bolt paper, it just adds uh, electrical damage, bolt damage to your uh, to your weapon. Certain enemies, the boss of this place is weak to it, but you don't particularly need it for this boss. So. You can always come back later <laughs> if you want, uh, or run straight up here, open this shortcut up. So that's where we need to go. Uh, this is the shortcut, the kind of tombstone thing that I showed you earlier, the plinth that was uh, in the air. So if you stand on the end of it, it's going to drop down and open up a shortcut. So you can just run back to the giants now if you want to. Here's another large scurrying beast. These guys actually bite back, bite back. They do attack, which is uh, weird. <laughs> Just the normal twins with those guys, with that guy, should I say? But yeah, they do. Uh, they do hit quite hard as well, so do watch out. They will stand their ground. There's patches. You can see him just on the building there, on the rock face there. The little spider. Well, quite a big spider. Yeah. So don't go down to the right hand side just yet, because Patches is going to do his old trick and uh, push you into a hole, because that's what he does. So I'm just coming up here, we'll come down here, we'll use this shortcut kind of thing later on. Just getting the, the beast. The uh, So that's overlooking where we need to go, that's the poison lake. We need to run through it, and that's what we're going to do. But we're going to let patches push us down first. But we're just going to clear up underneath into there, so down there, so don't go down there just yet get rid of this giant because once we're in the uh, the swamp the poison lake uh, you move slower so those guys chucking rocks at you is not fun so go down here we're gonna grab clockwise metamorphosis that's plus 10% HP so that's another rune for you there if you want to use that the one of the better runes we're actually gonna get is <laughs> later on once we left the the poison danger area so once you walk down here patches are gonna creep up He's going to push you over the cliff, and then you're going to kind of wake up very quickly in the poison. This is kind of a poison river, but it leads into the poison lake. But we want to go down here anyway and grab something. something. So don't go that way yet. Go this way, uh, deeper into the, the river. Yeah. Just ignore these guys. <laughs> if you can, just kind of run around them. They, ca they do sort of spit. You're going to see it. Yeah, sometimes they spit, sometimes they lunge. Uh, they're nasty. They do have fast poison. So I'm currently being slow poisoned. No point using antidotes. Have them ready. But, um, yeah, don't keep burning through your antidotes. Just burn through your blood vials instead. 
is a large one. So I'm going to check what he's got. He's got twins. There are some smaller ones as well there. So ignore these guys. Just run past them. Uh, and then towards here is the Winter Lantern. This is These are horrible. So I got the charge on, but I hit the rock. And it manages to grab me. You can see Frenzy. These are the Frenzy enemies. You can see it going up. Because I was so slow, I'm actually going to get hit here still. So you can see it building up, building up. It's dead. It's still going up. So if you think the bar on Frenzy is going to fill up, quickly heal yourself to full. Um, and you're going to hit... Yeah, it's a, a massive chunk of health. So watch out with those guys. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's, it's good to have that rune on. Here's fast poison almost. You can see red is fast poison. That is close. So yeah, that's why you want to have antidotes ready as well. Because these guys are just annoying. You just want to annoy... You can't really do much. You, you're restricted to slow kind of walking in this area. So yeah, there's not much you can do. Ooh, pe pebbles. They'll come in handy. <laughs> so yeah, leave antidotes for kind of fast poison. If that hits you, there's the giant that fell down before. He's poisoned. And now we're running back. And this is going to bring us out into the lake. Uh, I didn't actually mention why we went down there. But right at the end, behind the Winter Lantern, was an item. Uh, Messenger's Gift, which is a hunter tool, which we need for a trophy. So that's why we went down there to grab that. It's completely useless, unless you do PvP. Because it basically cloaks you, but you can't move. <laughs> So, yeah, it's kind of a PvP thing. So, yeah, watch out for these guys as well. They can, if they lunge at you, they can do quite a bit of damage. Uh, try and run. You can still roll in here. It's not as bad as Dark Souls, but, um, yeah, it's uh, probably better to roll, actually. But it will burn through your stamina. So I'm going to go through here, and you're going to emerge in the lake. So this is the um, kind of giant yeti or whatever it is that I um, knocked off the edge earlier on. So I'm just going to finish him off. And now I'm going to go back round again. So here's some antidotes. Make sure you grab those. They're going to come in handy. I'm going to drop down. And hopefully just evade getting poisoned again. I swear that fills up. That's full. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you're online as, as well, there may have been a summoning witch type lady uh, up here. So you'd have to come up and kill her. Uh, I am offline, so that's why she's not there. So, yeah, I've come, I'm coming back through the tunnel. So I'm, I've left the lake. I'm going back through that tunnel where those giants were. And I'm running back up and round. So if you, don't wanna, if you didn't clear these giants out where the three giants were and the werewolf, uh, you can use the shortcut now. So just go back and use that instead so you don't have to run through here. Uh, I'm basically going back to where Patches pushed us in the lake. And uh, grabbing what was there, which is cold flower, cold blood flower bud. Um, yeah, it's a, another material you need for chalice dungeon rituals. So uh, yeah, we're gonna grab it. I don't think we actually use it at all for the ones we go into. We kind of avoid using it, but it is down here if you need it. So yeah, you can go back. He won't push you in again, but uh, yeah, grab that. And now we're going to move on. So we're going to go up. We did come up here before. This is where that beast was. And then we're going to drop down this way. So just a bit of madman's knowledge. So this is kind of a, a safer way to get through the lake almost. Uh, yeah, this doesn't go well. I didn't actually realise there's one of these horrible uh, squids behind me. Wow, that's close. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like these things at all either. Their attacks, they kind of stun. They're a bit like dogs with their attacks. The way they just charge into you. You're going to see this one do it in a moment. They sort of just push through and just keep hitting you. Man, God, they're annoying. And they've got the, the fast poison effect there as well. Yeah, so could have done that cleaner, but never mind. Right, we're going to go back into the lake. So we're basically above where we just came out the uh, the river side. So I've come back round in a circle again. Going to drop back down. So on the left is where we left earlier. So now I'm going to run straight across. Grab some cold blood. You see that yellowed sort of cave there. That's where it is. 
yeah, again, just don't worry about the poisoning. Just keep healing through it. If you do need more blood vials, you will have to obviously go back uh, to the lamp at the start and uh, leave, come back. Yeah, so you can see the... Uh, <laughs> happens a few times in this bit. Yeah, that one twice. You have to heal through that. And we're going round. There's a yeti or a brick stone thrower, rock thrower, whatever you want to call it. Up here, you want to kill him. And then there's the clear deep sea rune, which is the poison effect one. So plus 200 a poison. So um, what I have on with Frenzy, uh, it's basically the equivalent but for poison. So it, it increases your tolerance to poison or being poisoned. In this one, in this place, it's kind of useless because you're going to get poisoned regardless. Uh, you spend that long in the lake. So yeah, he's going to get me as well. I should just roll at this point, but I don't. Yeah, too late. <laughs> right, we're almost kind of out. Kind of. One last guy here. You shouldn't, if you're so close to them like that, they shouldn't hit you with the uh, with the rock. You should be fine. Now we're just going to venture in just quickly, just to go onto this island here, and they get some more cold blood flower bud. There we go, two this time, and now we're almost there. We're almost towards the boss. We're nearly at the boss. So we're going to open up that shortcuts, the lift that I said very early on. So the, there is a straight run to the boss from the lamp in a moment. Here's another winter lantern. Uh, with this one, I usually, this doesn't actually go to plan, um, wait for it to walk up here and then it will turn around and then you can run towards it while it's got its back turned. Uh, and while it's not looking at you, it won't start the frenzy effect off. So you're going to see it's going to turn around. I start. I, the, I move the camera slightly, and then I'm, I'm already running towards it by the time I realised it's turned back around again. So I think it's turned around, and it's straight away looking at me. So all it needs to do is look at you for Frenzy to take effect. So here's why I'm actually using the, um, the rune as well. It's actually going to... At this point, you would already have been hit by Frenzy, and it would have killed you. So I actually miss it there. This is an important scurrying beast to kill, so kill this one. Watch not to, to knock it off the edge. Uh, but you want to kill it, and it's going to drop... Oh, that's close. <laughs> it's going to drop two bloodstone chunks, which means with the one we got in the previous area, we can now go up to plus seven with the Hunter Axe, is what I'm actually going to do shortly. Uh, if it does fall off the edge, then um, use the shortcut I'm going to open up in a minute, and then come back. So use the lamp go away, come back. Uh, you'll have to beat that Winter Lantern again or run underneath it, but be aware it's going to be there again. So we're gonna go down here. Right, we'll get rid of him. Completely useless, the little ones at this point, really. There's some more lead elixir around here if you need it. Again, it basically turns you into a rock. But I think does it lower your defense? It's There's a definitely a negative to it. Something like that. It's a... Uh, it's not something I use. I don't like relying on chemicals and things like that. Because um, you can run out. There's an item down there. This is close. <laughs> oh, that was close. I almost died then by falling off the cliff. That would have been quite funny to be honest. Uh, yeah, one of those guys. I'm just trying to get through this place at this point to open up the shortcut. The item, I don't actually go back for it. It is Bold Hunter's Mark. The things for going back to the lamp with all your blood echoes. Uh, yeah, I don't get it, but you can go and get that later. What I'm doing now is going up to the shortcut. I'm going to open it up so we can use it in case anything goes wrong in the next area. Uh, you may be running out of blood vials by now if you're healing through the poison as well. So yeah, if you want to go back, just watch out for this guy. They do use fire. If they're holding a torch, obviously they're going to use fire. That's close. And when you get to a, a certain amount of health, they do go on all fours. Uh, yeah, so run up here. You're going to find the lift. 
here so you need to obviously step on it to activate it if you do need to get some blood vials go and get them so go through here and then go back up and then back on yourself and you're right you're basically the start here and uh, go back to the lamp and get them I will go back later but once I've just done I've got enough to get through this little poison section here the boss is to the right hand side of me now uh, the boss gate but I'm just going to go into this left this last bit of uh, poison here I'm probably sick of poison and these horrible things by this point but there is a rune I want to go and get it is plus 100 on all status effects so it is kind of good to have on you at all times I suppose definitely would have helped in this area for sure uh, yeah never mind so that item I did, I'm not missed it the one before I'm gonna go back and get it on the way out kind of a marker there's a winter lantern usually that one doesn't wake up you can just kind of walk past it and leave it so go down here and then go to the left hand side and there's gonna be three of these big they're kind of like the cos from the DLC when you get to the DLC if you've ever played it yeah they'll kind of look like that I'm not quite sure what they are to be honest whatever they are just kill them <laughs> yeah so here is great deep sea it's behind these two so that's going to do one plus 100 against all status effects so it is quite handy now you can go to the left and deal with the uh, there's a big guy to the I'm going to show you I don't, really don't want to do it so there's a little one here get rid of him eventually there we go and then there's one to the left I don't know why I go down don't go down and do it it's probably because I didn't notice it and didn't think there was actually anything down there but there's where that big one was just then if you kill it there's a plus 10 kin blood which is a, a really good amount of um, that's close so yeah he doesn't usually follow or she doesn't usually follow so yeah, if you want to get that item, it's a, a good amount of blood echoes. Yeah, that doesn't follow you. Be aware it may follow you, but usually it doesn't. So just be aware it might. Yeah, the frenzy almost gets me again, but because I've got the extra coverage from it, I don't get hurt. Now we're leaving. We're getting out of here. I'm just going to go up here, grab this item here. It's a uh, nine it's worth grabbing yeah so to the left of me there are some bold hunters mark if you want to go and get those right I'm going to run back using the shortcut we've just opened up so the reason I opened it up before was in case you die in that area because we're right at the end here you want a quick way back if that happens and I'm going to uh, yeah unload and get some health that's basically what I'm doing obviously it's automatically going to um, fill up if you have enough however many you've got in storage they'll automatically get added I've only got six left which is probably enough for the boss to be honest um, not a particularly difficult boss at all so I'm right back at the start here <laughs> uh, missed this madman's knowledge and there's actually a, uh, a scurrying beast to the left of me there but I'm right at the start here but yeah, they're not particularly important at all. <laughs> so it's fine. So yeah, I'm going to uh, do the usual levelling. I'm actually going to make my Hunter's Axe plus 7 now. Because uh, I got the, the two chunks. So you can go back now and get those chunks if the, the thing fell off the end, off the edge. Just checking. I'll do all that later on. And I'm going to change um, the rune. I don't need deep sea anymore because no more frenzy. As you can see all the ones we've got, all the different resistances, great deep sea and everything now. Uh, I'll actually put um, lake on, which is damage for now. I always like to have the one for more souls on as well. So if our souls are different, uh, souls, <laughs> blood echoes are different, it's because I have that rune on. And I'm going to do some leveling. Might as well just before. We are right at the boss now. Strength. Farewell, good hunter. 
so it's actually up here it's this top one now this is the uh, the stone the portal to um, the nightmare frontier what a lovely place yeah so I do remember as I come back this time there is actually a screen beast here so yes yeah, you'll obviously have to kill all the enemies again but it will only be two werewolves this first one here at the top and then the one at the bottom of the lift that's all you need to bother with and then it's straight to the boss amygdala who is if you know how to do it pretty straightforward there are kind of two ways you can go about it it's uh, basically one of those things that grabbed us and took us here we need to fight one of those the one we need to fight one in the chalice dungeon and that, that one can be difficult uh, was for the first time I ever played was was the most difficult for me <laughs> that and the watchdog but this one's not too bad at all so I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna do the usual I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna do a backup save so saves uh, on materials and um, or consumables because I'm gonna use a bit just probably one bolt paper uh, whatever you want so if you want to switch to bolt paper or whichever paper you have most of because it is susceptible to fire and bolt so whichever it's up to you and then we're going to run in so do my backup save so i don't have to do the run back even though it's not that bad at all and uh, here it is so there's two ways to do this one uh I'll show you the first way which is nearly die as, <laughs> as soon as you go in yeah avoid this so it what it does is no that was terrible what that does the laser it's marking the floor first which doesn't damage you and then um, the it kind of follows up and the follow up is what actually damages you so there's two ways to do this what we're going to do first here is stay away from it if you stay away from it and just wait for attacks like this it's going to drop its head to the floor you can do a run attack and then you can do a I'm using R1s so I'm running R1, R1 again you're going to get uh, the overhead and you'll probably get two hits in at a time uh, and if you do enough damage to the head, it's going to stagger it like that. You can get the repost. Um, and then it will start to sort of heal its head again, so you can do it twice. Uh, this is a different type of laser it does. It just, um, yeah, it's obviously a spotty laser like that. Uh, yeah, as long as you kind of stay away from it, you're fine. When it does a blue slam like that, uh, don't run into its blue hands straight away. On, if they're still blue, they can still damage you even when they're on the floor. So you want to stay away and just run through its hands after that. But yeah, you can just keep doing this. Just keep um, backing away. Wait for it to do its attack. Uh, and put its head down and then just run in. Hit it with the R1. So yeah, there's the four-handed slam. Wait for the, uh, again, wait for the, the blue to wear off before moving forward. That's, uh, oh, that was close. I didn't actually know which way to go. I, I thought it was backed in on the... Uh, trapped in the left hand side but I wasn't you can, the alternate way which I'm going to show for the second half is um, get underneath it because we have the long weapon we can do the overhead slam and hit its head but you'll probably find that you will get some uh, damage, quite a, few, quite a bit of damage because for the second well, yeah I suppose it is a second phase uh, it's going to rip its arms off this was too soon, yeah. Couldn't see what was going on because of the tracking. So, yeah, the being locked on is a bit of a pain with this one, especially when you're underneath it, because you can lock onto its body or its head. You want to hit the uh, the head. Hitting it, its legs, the reason I'm not hitting its legs is because it doesn't really do any damage. So back away, and then I'm going to go in, and then it's going to go into its phase two because of its health now. Uh, it's going to rip some of its arms off its back, sort of the... the further behind arms and then it's going to start jumping around so if you stay underneath it especially when it's got its arms ripped off like this it will jump in the air if you stay where you are it won't hit you and then it will do a slam potentially like that and you can just track onto its head and hit it and you should be fine uh, it's a bit more violent when it, it doesn't have its arms in its hands <laughs> um, it will sweep underneath it so that's why I don't like to do it early on, but second phase it's actually quite good to stay underneath it. Uh, and you should be fine. And there we get the Ailing Loran Chalice, which we are obviously not going to use yet. But we have another Chalice, so you'll get that Chalice Trophy 
but that is one of the chalices we will be um, using later on obviously when we do them all at the end I'm not looking forward to those again <laughs> no they're fine they're fine some of them uh, there's one in particular one of the chalices which is uh, quite bad because you only have half of your health for the whole thing and you need to fight a harder amygdala um, yeah it just seems a lot more difficult in the chalice dungeon I don't know why uh, maybe it was just the first time I played it so yeah that was a, a few too many blood echoes there but all I'm doing is leveling no, don't need to do anything else and that's going to be the end of the video so we are off to Castle Canehurst next pretty cool area my favourite area from, from, so from my worst area to my favourite area so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one